<clears throat> so today is the 19th of January. The last video uploaded was published over two months ago. And this is due to overworking, overthinking, a lack of motivation, and simply creating excuses for myself. No more. Today I decided to take this journey more seriously. I'm looking for that spark I had at the beginning when I first started training. That drive that pushed me so hard. Creating resolve and passion. What's going on guys? For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Connor Miller. And welcome to my channel, CHM Fitness. So today I want to tell you guys about my thoughts on the new year. And give you guys some hints on what I have planned ahead. But first, I'd like to apologize for my absence. There really isn't any excuse for my lack of work ethic. I've been overworking myself with overstimulation by playing too many games. I put myself in a place where doing anything hard or productive wasn't the goal. But up until yesterday, I've been just skipping training for about two weeks as well. I would then tell myself, hey, it's no big deal. I'll just get out tomorrow and then the next day I tell myself the same thing over and over and over. Today is the day that, I, that I'm going to make a change. I used to have an addiction. Addictions are not good to have and can even be harmful depending on what and how bad. Recovery means to remove one thing from your life in order to focus on and improve the essential parts of life. The day my life changed for the better was the day I chose the path of recovery. This was also one of the hardest times of my life. This was the time I lost my father. I lost my father to the same thing that I had decided to give up that day. Addiction. From that day forward, I was a different person. My father is the first person I've lost that was very close to me. This is what makes my drive so strong. Remembering who I was. And most importantly, importantly remembering my father. All of this ignited the fire, the fire and burning passion to become strong, but more importantly, to become the best version of myself. And it doesn't stop there. I want to help as many people as possible. I want to see as many people as I can become the best versions of themselves. As much as I will be a big factor in others' lives, they will also be a big factor in my life. With everything taken into account, it's time for a fresh start. <laughs> Not only do I want to become stronger this year, I want to become better all around, physically, mentally, and I want to bring you guys along with me. Through all the fitness challenges, fitness routines, meal preps, and my personal thoughts and feedback, I want you all with me. So with that being said, I, pre I prepared a quick five to 10 hit leg routine that you can either follow along with me or even challenge one of your friends by sharing this with them and challenging them either way i appreciate your support so yeah obviously you, you guys could tell that i wrote all this down but i mean like personally i feel like this is a good way to get my thoughts out so i can say what i want to say properly without too much uh 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 and, you know it just helps me beat around the bush and get to the point so anyways, with all that being said, stay tuned to the end for a little surprise. Okay. All right guys, so this is a quick five to 10 minutes uh, lower body circuit. Uh, it's high intensity interval training. So we're aiming for basically timed ex exercise rather than reps. So I got my boy's phone here. I have a little uh, list of the exercises I'm gonna do. Um, if you want, you can follow along. Go ahead, get your water. We're gonna start right now. So if you need to pause the video, get ready. Let's get right into it. The first exercise is 30 seconds of pogo bounces. With every fifth rep, you're gonna do an explosive jump and tuck your knees. Just basically, basically to get warmed up, you know? Yeah, yo, when uh, the phone goes off, I'm gonna need you to unlock it. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get it. Timer on this. Alright, next exercise. 
exercise. It's going to be high knee twists, 30 seconds. Just to get those hips, your hip flexors, you know, your hips warmed up. You want to try and stay facing straight and turn the hip outwards. Left. Yeah. Alright, next exercise is high knees. Am I too am I too far or too close? As long as you can see my whole body, you're good. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now we're gonna do 15 seconds rest. Next exercise is unilateral bodyweight squats, and you're alternating. So basically, you're gonna have a split stance, and you're gonna do like a one-sided squat. You can have your toes facing upwards, so you're gonna feel a nice sweat stretch in the hamstring. 45 seconds, let's go. Five seconds left. Yep. 15 seconds rest. 15 seconds. Now we're going to 45 seconds of jump squats. Oh, shit. 10 seconds. Five four, three, two, one. 45 seconds jump squats. 45 seconds jump squats. Seconds. Yes, sir. Five, four, four three, two, one. Bingo. Bingo, bango. <laughs> now, although you don't see me do it in this video, shouts out to Scott Bernhard for the idea of doing calf raises in place of your rest time, not for the faint of heart. 45 seconds, body weight squats. Body weight squats. Are you rocking the vest? No. Ah. Uh. Five seconds. Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Fifteen seconds rest. Oh man. Row, row, ready. It's a lot harder in the cold. I could imagine. It's minus six outside today. Is it? Out here, yeah. Damn. Woo. Five seconds. Yes, sir. Forty-five seconds of a squat hold. Oh. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Now if you want, as you can see, I'm doing a little bounce in the hold. I feel as if this helps me. It adds to the burn. And you don't have to do a hold if you don't want to. The burn's getting too intense. Take a second or two, shake it off. 
but you want to aim for a full 45 seconds. About 25 seconds left. You should explain to them to why your arms are out. For balance. Hey. Having your arms out is a perfect squat. You want to have your back as straight as possible. 10 seconds. Having your arms forward, you feel like you're going to fall back. Five, four, three, two, one. Hey. Now, if you want to repeat this, in the beginning I said five to 10 minutes. You could repeat this for a second round. And if this was enough for you, you could finish it off with maxing out with lunges. Don't count reps, don't count time. Just go as far as you can go. No rest, let's get it. That's it. That's it. That's all. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Works. All right. Just want to say thank you guys for tuning in and watching. I know I've been gone a while, but you know, it's, it's 2021. Time for a fresh start. No more excuses. Sheesh. That's what I've been doing in myself the past two to three weeks. Excuse after excuse. No more of that. Time for a fresh start. I'm gonna try and release as much as possible. So again, thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Pow! <laughs> they want to see the video. <laughs> so, are y'all ready for the surprise? Whoa, okay. <laughs> so, I got myself a pair of gymnastic rings because I've been training calisthenics for about two years now, so I thought it'd be a good idea to, I guess, upgrade, you know. Uh, gymnasts are very, very strong. Um, using rings and bodyweight exercises is gonna be crazy. Like, I've been watching so many videos. I mean, I've used them once or twice at a park. I haven't used these ones yet, but I've used them once or twice at a park, and honestly, it's a lot more difficult than using like just a fixed uh, bar, but at the same time, it's more natural for your joints and there's a greater range of motion. So with all that being said, it's much more ideal. It's gonna bring like better gains. Dude, dude, gymnastic rings are crazy. But anyways, man, thank you all you guys again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>